welcome back everyone another lesson here we're going to talk about one concept i intend this to be a really short video actually just to get across one term one mathematical term when it comes to geometry so to get us going here are these shapes matching how could you find out okay so the concept i want to talk to you about is when polygons match exactly and we we call these polygons congruent again say that together nice and loud congruent congruent means exactly the same now normally we can take the shape flip it over turn it slightly to see if it's congruent i don't have the ability on the smart board to really do that because i can't cut things out etc but if you do where you know a teacher gave you some shapes and say hey are these congruent you could you know manipulate them with your fingers cut them out probably figure that out a little bit easier but if you don't have that ability at least we can measure and record the lengths of the sides and measure and record the angle measures with a ruler and a protractor okay so I have two pentagons here and they're slightly different orientations but they are exactly the same and I know this because I took the pentagon and flipped it over on the computer um, and I have labeled them differently so we have pentagon A, B, C, D, E and if you notice I'm reading them in a clockwise order it doesn't matter what order I read them in um, as long as I'm going either clockwise or, or counterclockwise and I could start at any letter but don't say C, A, D, E, B. We always go in the order in one, or one direction or the other. Anyways, um, so these two pentagons, you, know, you can see that I measured them, not really, but they're two centimeters on every side, and all the angles are 108 degrees. We know these as regular pentagons, regular polygons there. And so these two are congruent because I measured them with a protractor and a ruler. Now here's our same shapes here, just to you know show that the line segments AB equals BC equals CD equals DE equals EA, and then moving on to the other the other pentagon. And again, all the angles are the same, so I can say uh, angle A equals angle B equals angle C, etc. Now remember, we use hatch marks and symbols for the angles to show that they're equal. So if you're on um, on a test or something and you see that this is there. Oh, I know that all those sides are equal. And I guess I'd have to do the same here. Because if I had different, you know, different hatch marks, if I had two, then I know that they're not the same. Uh, maybe you would see angle symbols like so, and you see them on the same here. You would know that these two shapes are congruent. So in pentagons A, B, C, D, E, and F, G, H, I, J, all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. So these pentagons are congruent. And in other words, we would say pentagon A, B, C, D is congruent to pentagon F, G, H, I, J. And we have this funny symbol and I might need to draw it a little bit bigger. It's an equal sign with a squiggly on top. And that's the symbol for congruent. What we have here is the equal sign we know is equals. And this squiggly guy actually in a math term is, is, means in similar to. So if you add something, you could say it's similar and not quite exact. But we're saying it's equal to and similar. We're kind of saying it's congruent there. So it's kind of breaking it down. But just know that the equals with the squiggly means congruent. That's it. That's all I want to talk to you about. Remember, in life, math happens. Take care, guys.